On the spot where Zara Alina was attacked, hundreds of her friends, family and neighbours gathered to remember her and to walk her home. Why am I here? Because I just want to show my respect and just hold Zara, you know, in my heart. Led by Zara's family, the crowd set off at 2.17, the time in the early hours of last Sunday morning when the 35-year-old was attacked. Their silent walk sending a deafening message that violence against women must end. Let us stop saying the same thing. Actions, actions. Be kind, teach kindness. Teach people not to abuse people. In incident like this. Many women and girls uh, can't go about uh, our country at the time of day they want to go about. They're imposing curvies on themselves because it's not safe to go about uh, our country. That's why it's really important us men and boys have a look at our own behaviour in relation to misogyny, sexism and uh, violence to finally end uh, the violence that exists against women and girls. It's, they don't make you feel safe. No. you out of the blue, it comes like this and, you know, you are unsafe. Does You're... it make you afraid to go out? Yes, it does. Zara was an aspiring lawyer and had been coming home after a night out. A 29-year-old man, Jordan McSweeney, has been charged with her murder. Thank you so much for being here today. At the end of the walk, Zara's aunt addressed the crowd. This is our Zara. This is our issue. This is something that we must all change. It must never happen again. Thank you for being here. Amin. 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 Amin.